Hello everyone, this is Darwell20, and welcome to episode 58 of Darwell20's Dungeons, Dragons, and Space Shuttles Let's Play series. Oh man, I want to check on my gold, because I feel like we have a lot. 837 gold essence. That ain't bad. Oh my. <laughs> that's awesome. I don't know how long uh, that's been running. I don't think it's been too long, though. So, I mean, I will 100% say that I'm excited about the amount of gold that we just received. Uh, and that tells me that our plants are growing really quickly, right? Like, look at this copper essence. You ready? We're going to get so many stacks of copper from this. That is so cool. Uh, also, it just occurs to me, uh, I should probably take all my gold out of here because I just put you in a place that is not the drawer because I still have this problem that I haven't solved. <laughs> oh my goodness. I should just, I should just create, I, I, I've heard differing theories on what it could be, um, I've heard people say it's because of the chunk claiming thing, uh, but I'm not 100% sure um, that uh, maybe that might be the issue, right? So if I wanted to solve that, we'd want these chunks to still be chunk loaded. So we would need to make a chunk loader, uh, which at this point is not terrible. It does need an ultimate catalyst, though. So that's easy enough. And that's not really that hard to make. Frankly, that's not terrible. Refined obsidian, that's probably what we were waiting on. And maybe the enchantment table, we can definitely make that by now. So we were probably waiting on Refined Obsidian to try that out. Though, if it's to solve a bug, I might just cheat the thing in because, you know, I'm being lazy. That's a thing. I think I've earned laziness in this pack. I think I've earned that a little bit. So last episode, uh, we were looking at auto crafters, right? Like, we've got a bunch of auto crafters still available in our inventory. And I'd like to continue down the path of making crafters if we can. Right? So what remains to be auto-crafted if I want to make a bunch of these? We need to auto-craft carpenters. That's right. That's right. I need our, I need more carpenters. I need more carpenters. That's a thing for sure. Um, that is definitely a thing. We're going to definitely need more carpenters. And because there's so many recipes for carpenters, I should probably add carpenter auto-crafting to the auto-crafting capabilities list. So, like, what would be involved in making a carpenter? I think I said I was going to set this up between episodes but like how bad is this so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten items you're killing me ten types of items that means i can't auto craft carpenters until i unlock the next ability either that or we do something like keep in stock and we exclude certain things from the from the auto craft list that's also a possibility right so what we could do is just say, hey, keep, for example, right, like a way to work around this, we could say, hey, keep microchip tier two available inside this chest at all times. Um, and then the craft would be to insert all the remaining pieces, right? Um, that's a way to solve that issue. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. But there's a lot to get Carpenter's auto crafting. There's a lot involved there. Oh boy, we need empowered Restonia crystals. Yeah. Yeah, that's a thing we're gonna need. Empowered Restonia crystals, mana steel automation, and blood iron automation. Lots of automation is gonna be needed here. We should also look at automating blood. That might be more fun too. Uh, if we can find a nice and cool way to automate blood. But let's do this. Let me just make a few carpenters here. Um, Cause like, how's our blood situation right now? Buddy. You're doing okay, but that's because we killed a bunch of mobs, right? Like, at some point. Um, what would be involved in... Because there's blood trees, right, from Evilcraft? Yes, there's undead saplings, right? Um, and those guys can do a thing. Let's see if I remember how these work. There was a quest for this, probably in Black Magic. Yeah, down here. So undead saplings. Just put a dead bush into a blood infuser and you get an undead sapling. Correct. Um, and undead trees. Who said only zombies can come back from the dead? Undead saplings grow into undead trees. These trees look just like any other tree, except they have the undead wood for their trunk and branches that the undead leaves spawn by this tree drip with blood. Cool. Um, so that's neat, right? And then there's dark sticks and then there's the vengeance pickaxe. So I think what you can do is you can, you can squeeze this to get to get something, right? Like it's ore dictionary with wood, but I think there's some way, yes, you can get blood out of this. That's cool. 100 millibuckets per log. So let's see what would happen. Cause we've got so much wood over here, right? Like we are doing just fine, 
right? So what would happen if we came over here and we did something like this and locked the inventory? Well, that's clearly not that direction. Let's see. So the one I placed it into Maybe it's this one. It's gonna be one of the corners. It's gonna be hey there it is. One of the corners. Told you. Alright, now let's get something to grow this. And my curiosity will be what's gonna happen when these guys grow, right? So let's pick those up for a minute. Cause I wanna have drawers that are capable of handling this, right? Because as it sits right now, there's no drawers. So what I'm gonna do is get a decent size, let's get a crate actually. Yeah, that sounds like a good time. We're gonna replace you with the crate. So what we're gonna have is, if it doesn't fit, put it in the crate, right? Rather than putting it in the trash can, okay? So then we can grow our undead trees. We're gonna add you. Cool. And what kind of luck are we gonna have with uh, the harvester getting that tree, right? Oh, that's right. We don't get saplings for it. We get the dead bushes. Okay. So maybe we should look at automating this a little bit just to automate our blood stuff a little bit. That might be cool. Okay. So undead saplings require 800 blood to turn into, to turn, to turn this into that. So it looks like we're getting a little bit more, a few more logs than not, right? So if we wanted to get blood out of you, was, is it just a magma crucible? Is that what we saw? Or, or a mechanical squeezer, that's one option. Or we might, so how do we get blood, right? Let's just look at that. We could do undead leaves too, that's an option. That gets us 50 millibuckets of blood. That's probably like the more efficient way to go. But then we have to have this guy collecting leaves, which is a meh. Because um, I think if we collect leaves, we don't get any bushes, right? Is that correct? Let's find out. Because I'm pretty sure that's accurate, right? If we collect the leaves, we won't get any bushes. That should be quick. Let's get some shears here. I thought I had shears. Would they be in here, maybe? If not, I'll just make some. Oh, nope, we do have some. Yay! So let's test this out here, right? Because I'm just starting to think about all the things we're gonna need to automate <clears throat> if we're gonna if we're gonna actually do this. So with with regards to automation, right? Yeah, so I don't think we got any under we got any bushes from that, right? So you get a lot of leaves, right, which we can use in the mechanical squeezer uh, to get blood and hardened blood shards, right? How would we get more undead bushes then if we went that route, right? Because now, so the question is, if we were going to go the route of of saving the leaves, which means changing the way that farm works and not using the same farm that we have, which is a little bit of a bummer. Um, that's one option. Or if we automated it properly, in general, we will get more blood out of the tree than not, right? Um, oh, this might have a uh, fire on it. That's okay. Yeah, that's all right. I don't care. This is all in the name of testing, right? So we'll figure it out. Just do that, and that's cool. All right, so with that said, right, how do we get dead bushes easily? Well, we can shear any kind of sapling. That's one option. Or we can drying base in a sapling. So that could be a way to go. That might be an interesting approach, right? So we could take the, the saplings from the regular tree farm 
drying basin them to get dead bushes and then use the leaves that we get. So we have to do the leaf shear upgrade, um, leaf shearing out on, right? So now the problem there lies is that if we update the existing harvester, um, we have a little bit of a problem that we're gonna be shearing leaves instead of making saplings, which you know we don't want. We want you making saplings. So we don't wanna do the leaf shear out on because that's just not what we want, right? And you're already making a big old mess, which is fine. I don't care, I'm cool with that. Let's get you back to trash can mode. Cool. I know, you're gonna bounce. There you go. Cool, boop, boop, boop. So option one is turn this into a leaf shearer, but we stop getting saplings. Option two is to set up another planter and harvester gatherer guy that's maybe smaller and over here that's going to be dedicated just to making the blood magic trees so we can get lots of blood from blood magic so we can automate blood production i kind of like that idea um and then we'll take the leaves from here to get dead bushes that we can then use to do other cool things thoughts i like that and we'll just do like a little a, a mini secondary plant gatherer slash placer setup Right, so I want a plant sower and a plant gatherer, and that would be cool. Let's do that. Sower and gatherer. Yeah, I think today's episode will be automating blood production. I like the plant, the sound of that. And then a drying basin, right? A mechanical one and a mechanical squeezer. And I like all those things. I like those things for us. I think that's good. Okay, cool. Let's put these guys in here for a minute. I'm gonna put all this away. And we'll come back in a sec when I'm ready to do this whole interesting thing. I'm going to make these four machines off camera real quick. All right. Luckily, these recipes are pretty easy. Um, the other two weren't super easy, but, you know, we're getting there. I don't think I need that anymore. I just noticed things in my inventory that are out of place, and then we're good. Oh, nice. That's sweet. All right. Cool, cool, cool. So that gets that done, right? So now if I want wireless... Do I want some more? Ooh, this recipe changed, didn't it? Little bit. Little bit. Feel like somebody noticed what I was doing. Somebody noticed how useful those were. Didn't realize that recipe had changed. Little bit did that recipe change. Carmesine, huh? Well, it's not terrible. It's not terrible. How are we on carmesine? Ah, oh, it's not bad. Yeah, no, we're fine. We're fine. The recipe changed a little bit, though, because I used to have the original recipe, which is, uh, which I was surprised at. Remember? Remember I was surprised? Yep. So, uh, that's cool. Let's take a quick nap, because it became nighttime when I set all this up. All right, so let's, let's, let's be prepared. Oh, you know what else I didn't make is the, uh, leaf shearing upgrade. Let's make that real quick. Let's make that shear upgrade. Um, leaf shearing add-on as a carpenter. It's two shears, two glass, advanced plastic, and gold. Gold. Plastic. Shear. Right? Um, two glass panes and an advanced. Sweet. You go in there. Doot, doot. You come over here. Boop. And you need, uh, so that, 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 and the two shears, and two liquid crystalline. Sweet. That's that. It's nice having a few liquids handy. I like it. All right, so leaf shearing add-on is check. Pop that dude up there. And then we're gonna go give this a shot, right? So what I'm thinking is, let's start with like the most basic mechanic possible. I don't know if we're gonna upgrade these, but if we don't upgrade them, right, then it's a one by one mode, right? So we pop that dude in here, we show working area, it's gonna be that, right? Um, we can get these dudes and i'll probably need another blood infuser probably need another blood infuser right um with dead bushes right and that's cool 
So we'll probably want to turn those into saplings. We're going to need the blood infuser over here. Like part of the automation process is going to use blood infuser, right? Um, and we, we will probably need logistical doohickeys. Okay, so that should be coming up on that. Nice, sweet. All right, an extra blood infuser, which hopefully will have sufficient amounts to do the thing. All right, so let's set this up with like a basic for now, right? Um, so that'll be that. For now, we'll just get, you know, this going. All right, so what's gonna happen is we're gonna plant um, this thing on the dirt. Cool. Uh, let's get our bone meal so we can simulate this whole thing, this whole process. Because the goal here, obviously, is we want lots of automation, right? All the automations in the world should be good. Sweet. I guess we'll go with this for now. That should be good. Uh, so we'll pop this dude down. And then you'll chop the tree down. Okay, you'll get the dead bushes. All right, we wanted the shearing upgrade in there, didn't we? Hold on. Uh, shear, 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 upgrade. Thank you. Let's try that again. Cool. So now you should get all the leaves along with the undead log. That's cool. All right, so as a reminder, right, we've got saplings going over to here. So we're going to hijack that and send them over here a little bit. Okay. And what we're going to have is we're going to have the drying basin to get the stuff. So let's see. What we're probably going to want is to dry those saplings, right, into dead bushes in the drying basin. So here's your mechanical drying basin. Let's borrow you and put you down here for the time being. Right. So how about we do that? And then we'll run our logistical transporters. Like that, cool? So here come the saplings. They're all gonna come in and they're gonna start drying into the dead bushes, okay? And that is going to need to go into the blood infuser, right? Uh, so let's get that ready. So your dead bushes are gonna come into here, okay, in theory. Or do you get pulled out of the bottom? You might need to get pulled out of the bottom. I'm not sure the uh, sidedness of either of these blocks, so we'll figure it out. That doesn't seem right. He might be like a furnace where he needs to be inserted into the top, in which case, okay. But let's try that. All right, you're there. <laughs> Are you gonna be happy now? There you go. Cool. All right, so he needs to be there, which is fine, not a problem, right? So that'll that'll get us more uh, saplings that are gonna go in the plant sower, right? So then I'm hoping that your the output is like that. So let's kickstart this with a little bit of blood that I happen to have. Okay. Undead sapling, yay. Maybe you have to extract from the bottom. We'll find out. That's not what I want. There you go, extract is bottom indeed. Cool. That should just be a little bit cleaner, I guess, right? So then you replant and that's the process for that, right? Now what we need to do is also get like maybe two drawers because the only thing we're getting out of this, um, how hard is it to make drawers? Oh, not hard at all, yay. Okay, so you're going to do boop and boop, right? And you're gonna get wood and leaves All 
right? So here's what's going to happen. You're going to grow. You're going to get the wooden leaves. And that's going to be cool, right? And then we're going to use the leaves in the mechanical squeezer. So let's get, this is your leaves, right? So we're going to extract you into the mechanical squeezer. Now the squeezer wanted items and put it into the top, so we'll probably want to stick with that, right? And we do this, and then you're going to start producing blood and hardened blood shards, which can be used for what? Um, things and stuff and magma crucible into more blood. Well, that's kind of cool. Actually, maybe throw a magma crucible down here so we can get more blood out of you, right? That might not be a terrible idea. How hard would it be to whip up a quick magma crucible? Hmm. Because the more we can do with this, the better. Right? If we wanted a magma crucible, that doesn't look so bad. All right, if I'm not wrong, this should be about where we need to be for this craft. Hooray, magma crucible. Nice. Okay. So put some other junk away, and that's cool beans. All right, so your magma crucible will also be responsible for creating blood. Now you extracted out the bottom, right? So what I can luckily do, let's do something like this. I'm going to make it so that the bottom is an input. Actually, can I input from the back with an auto input? Yes, what's up? That's what's up, right? So now both of you are producing blood, right? In the form of a fluid. Now let's get a tank. I like this, I like this, and we also want pipes, right? Basic mechanical pipes and a tank of some kind. Um, wood tank, tin tank, I wouldn't mind something like a decent sized tank. It's just the decent sized tanks are so expensive in this tank. Oh my goodness, this pack has expensive tanks. Holy cow, the tanks in this pack are so expensive. They're expensive though, right? Um, how 64 buckets of blood sound like for a back stuffing? I like that number, right? So that's gonna be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So that's 19 tin plates and hardened glass times five. Hardened glass, oh, we have some hardened steel glass. That should work. Tin plates, let's just request 20 of those. Look, auto crafting, yay! Um, and then glass glass, of which we will need plenty. So let's throw some sand in here and back in a sec once this is all cooked. Okay, so tin tank should be craftable as it stands right now. Up oh, wrong doohickey. There you go, nice. So that's what's up with that. Oh, dark out, better do something about that. Okay, so tin tank is where we're gonna collect all this fluid, right? So what we're gonna wanna do is basically pipe both fluids out of here. Oh, that's a logistical transporter. I thought I grabbed pipes. Yeah, there you go, mechanical pipes. Right, and then boop, 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 boop. And now you're collecting all that blood, which is nice. Uh, and then we can also basic logistical mechanical pipe, dude. Boop, boop. I'm just hoping, oh, uh, you're going in the wrong spot, ain't you? You know what that would be? Super cool if we just did that. I just know the problem is gonna be you're not gonna get enough, I don't think. Cause how much for dead bush? 800? All right, so let's try something real quick. Let's just get a bucket's worth. Pop it in there. So then you should convert, right? You're doing a good job of keeping all that stuff. You're gonna convert. You're gonna send your sapling over. You're gonna plant your sapling. You're gonna grow your sapling. You're gonna produce all your blood. And the key is, will we produce enough blood from this whole process to make at least one more sapling? And the answer appears to be yes, because we're definitely getting more blood in there. So that's cool. Oh, hey, you. Ah, oh, that's right, hold on. Wow, that's awesome. That's actually quite good. That's That tells me that we are fine. I am 100% on board with this. Look at that, that's a lot, dudes. That's fully automated evil craft blood. 
right? Because now, like, literally, like, check this out. We've got, I mean, we're getting even more blood from this, right? We're going to get a lot of this, actually. This is a lot. This is really good. The only thing we have to worry about is, like, voiding excess wood. But there's, like, no, I don't even worry about the wood, right? Like, I'm, right? Like, I don't even worry about the wood. Um, like, if we really wanted to, we could squeeze the wood, too. But, like, we're getting so much from the leaves... I don't think that it's even worth wasting my time, right? Like, I could. Realistically, all I'd have to do to do that would be to put this here and boop boop, right? And the exact same process continues. And now you're producing stuffs, right? Because you just produce, you actually only produce blood. So you're producing a little bit there. Is it like a chance? Because it looks like it's not doing nothing. No, it's doing it. Yeah, look, 1475, 14925, 14975. So it's producing a tiny, 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 tiny amount of blood. The leaves are what's up though. Yeah, the leaves are 100% what's up. Like those are the like, those are the crazy amounts. I like this. There's no need for anything bigger, right? A simple one by one sec system is like perfect. Like, look how much we're getting here. And then we can use this to automate our iron blood production and any other stuff that we need, right? Because that's, like, a really significant amount of blood for uh, evil craft purposes. All right, I'm down with that. Maybe a quick void upgrade on a couple of these bad boys and we should be cool. Um, I'm down with that. How hard is a void upgrade in this pack? I mean, not what I'd call difficult, I guess. Yeah, it's not terrible. I can do that. Let's get a couple of these guys. Have you noticed I've just kind of given up on having a having a wall? Have you noticed that? Like I'm, I've just given up. I'm like, yeah, we don't need a wall. I give up. You don't even need fluid for that, which is cool. Nice. There you go. Void upgrades. That's easy enough to make. They were annoying without the carpenter, but they're not bad at all with. All right, I think that's wrapping up point for the episode. So that's a good point, right? Like, uh, let's wrap it up here. And uh, Daryl20 signing off. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Uh, we'll come back next time. And now that we've got Evilcraft blood production automated, which is super cool. Boom, right? Now we totally have it automated. Uh, we just basically let this thing run, and we're great. All right, nice. Daryl20 signing off. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. For now, take it easy. Bro!